Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Barbara Stafford, author of Eclectic Entertaining, 15 complete dinner party menus for busy people who like to cook. Today we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day, so I'll be making a traditional Irish soda bread. It's really, really easy to make and everybody in your household will love it too. And one of the things that's kind of fun about the Irish soda bread is that there's a little mythology involved here. You make the bread and then you have to put an X across the top to protect the household from demons. So we will definitely do that when we get around to that part. Okay, let's go over the ingredients. First of all, we've got flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt, white sugar, dried cranberries, or you, if you prefer, you can use raisins, buttermilk, and then over here I've got butter. That's it. Simple, simple. All right, we're going to first start by taking the flour, putting it into the bowl, and because you have the ingredient proportions listed on the screen, I won't bother telling you how much of everything. Then I'm going to take the butter over here, put it in the bowl, and then just mix it into the flour using two knives. This is a really slick technique if you've never done that before. So we're just going to break it up that way. Get those little chunks of butter all mixed in nicely. Okay, and then I'll start adding the rest of the ingredients, but I think I'll just keep using these knives to make sure we get the butter incorporated well. So in goes the baking soda, salt, and baking powder. And then we'll add the sugar. There's not that much sugar, so it's not a real sweet bread, which I like. Okay, and in go the craisins. Love those little guys. Okay, you can see. See it mixed in really nicely and the butter is turning into little chunks. Here, let's get that off the knife. This is like the easiest bread recipe you could come up with. Those Irish are so smart. Okay, let's pour in the buttermilk now. Here we go. And if you don't have buttermilk, let me give you a little tip. Put in almost the amount of buttermilk you need in the mixing or in not the mixing bowl but in the measuring cup and then add a little bit of white vinegar like a teaspoon of white vinegar that'll work so you don't need to run to the market and buy buttermilk if you don't already have it all right see how nicely that's incorporating okay and i think i'll switch over to my spoon and then pretty soon I'm probably going to have to use my hands to just dig right in to mix it well. Okay, here we go. It is as well as I can mix it. So I'm going to put it out onto my little cutting board and get it mixed in even better. Here we go. Okay, so this is the fun part. You get to use your hands and just really smush it together and incorporate all that flour. See how well the butter mixed in? You can't even see it anymore. And if you have a bigger cutting board, it won't end up all over your counter like it is for me, but it doesn't matter. It works. And then at the end, after this comes out of the oven piping hot, we're going to put some nice melted butter over it and you can enjoy it with even more butter, jam, or just eat it the way it is. No matter what you do, it's great. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you're going to enjoy this. Okay, so you know what? Here it goes. I love the way this looks. Let me get my pan ready. We're going to use a little parchment paper on the baking pan because I don't want to wash the pan later. And it's real easy to remove the bread. So we'll just 
line the baking sheet with parchment. And then we'll put the little loaf of bread on it. And now the best part, I have to tell you about the Irish folklore. They like to put an X across the top. And urban legend has it that that keeps away the demons from the household. So we certainly don't want to break tradition. Okay, it's all ready to go in the oven at 375 for 35 minutes. Okay, bread's ready. Let's get it out. Oh, does that look good. You can still see the X on the top. All right, let's put it on a plate while it's still nice and warm. Enjoy it. Okay, let's bring that over here and put some melted butter over the top. Ugh, I can't wait to try this. Let it just soak right in. We're not going to worry about calories today. Oh, this is going to be so yummy. I'm going to have to have my leprechauns try it in a few minutes. Time for the best part. Let's dig in and try the bread. Get these pieces going and get my leprechauns to pop up and give them a try. Oh, these are going to be so good. Okay, let's scoop them out onto the plates one by one. See what a nice dense bread this is. And like I said, it's not too sweet. It'd be great with afternoon coffee or tea. Not that they drink tea in Ireland or anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, leprechauns, where are you? <laughs> Come on, have at it. Oh. <laughs> See what you think. Mm. Oh, we can. I'm going to need some serious editing. Not too much sugar. You like that? Thank you for watching this episode. Please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Instagram at Eclectic Entertaining. Also, check out my website for more easy and elegant recipes.